In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the magic wand tool to quickly cut worker images to put on a background in TEW. Uh, I say the magic wand tool, that's what I believe it's called in Photoshop. In GIMP, which we'll be using for this tutorial, it's called the fuzzy select tool. Now, the magic wand or fuzzy select tool works best on images with a single color to two color background with good contrast against the actual image you want to cut out. Uh, for instance, this Ryback image here is perfect for what we want to do here. Uh, it's got the green solid color background that makes great contrast against the colors that are actually in his body. So uh, pretty much all you do is click on the magic wand or fuzzy select, go over here, click into the green. And after you do that, you see the dotted line show up on the outside of Ryback's body here. Now uh, you want to go to select, invert, and what that does is it just selects the actual body, not the background like we did with the tool. Then go to select, shrink, and we're going to bring that in about one pixel. And what that does, hit uh, go to one and hit OK. What that does is it brings the selection in one pixel so that if by any chance there was a little bit of green showing, you're, you've gone in um, a pixel. So it should cut that stuff out. Then we're going to go to Select and Feather just to, just to make our selection not so jagged and sharp. And we're going to do about a 1 there and hit OK. Then from there, we're just going to hit Edit, Copy. Then go over to your background, widen the viewer area just a little bit. Hit Edit, Paste. Actually, we're going to edit, paste as, and we're going to go to a new layer. It'll just save us a step later on. From there, go to the Move tool, square your image up. Then go over to the Scale tool, click on the image, and hit Shift and Control on your, mouse, on your uh, keypad. And then take any corner of the image here as you're holding Shift and Control and drag the image down. All right, and once you've done that, hit, go over to the Move tool again, move your image up. And it's not quite where I want it, so I'm going to scale it once again. And then I'm going to go back to the Move tool. All right, and that looks good, so we'll leave it there. Now, we pasted this as a layer, so we don't have to have the floating image over here, so it's ready to have a drop shadow on it now. Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. And the dialog box popped up underneath, so we'll grab that. Make sure allow resizing is unchecked. And four and four, that looks pretty good. Hit OK. Got our drop shadow here. Now go over to the layers palette and flatten image. Select all, select border. And we're going to do a one pixel border. Hit OK. Go over to the paintbrush tool and paint your border around. Now on the paintbrush tool, if you hit the uh, bracket keys just above your enter on your keyboard, the bracket facing the right way will bring your, um, your brush tool bigger and the bracket tool facing the opposite way will make it smaller. Just some easy keyboard shortcuts so you don't have to go over here and message or uh, mess with that. And anyway, we do the border here and you got your cut. Now that was simple, right? But it's not always so simple with this quick select tool. So let's get rid of this image of Ryback. If you're lucky enough to find an image like that, perfect. It saves you a ton of time. What doesn't work so well with the quick select tool is an image like this, where Triple H's hair is basically black and blending in with the background and his elbow pads are. So if you were to try that, you'd go over here, you'd click it, and everything in his elbow pad area, his trunks, half of his hair, that all gets selected. Now you could go over here to the threshold, try to lower it a little bit, and what that'll do is select less, but as you can see, if you do that, then like it's, it's all fucked up. So really, your best bet with an image like this is to use the path select to um, click around the image and cut it out that way. Now this image of Exana here, this is a pretty decent image to try the quick select method with. 
so we go here. Our threshold is pretty low. We'll want to higher that. I'm thinking somewhere around 25 might be good for this. So we select, yeah, that is pretty good. Now once you have a selection there, you could hold shift on your keyboard and this little area over here, I'm gonna click. And what that does is it adds to your current selection. And then this little piece of hair right here, click that. All right, that looks pretty good. Then we'll go to select invert so that we select just Axana out of the picture. Select shrink, bring it in by a pixel. Select feather. Let's feather that about one, hit OK. All right, now I'll just go back to the background here and get rid of this Ryback image. Just gonna drag the layers back to the garbage can and get rid of those, hopefully. All right, go back to the Axana image here. Hit Edit Copy, then hit Edit Paste as new layer. All right, let's scale it. Hold Shift and Control, drag. That looks about good. Let's move her into the image here. All right, now as you can see, let's bring the magnifying glass in. There's a lot of uh, extra background still on her, uh, on the worker cut here. So we could fix that. Go to the path tool or the pen tool as I call it from Photoshop. And we could start selecting out around the areas where the white from the background is still showing. And I'm gonna go around that area a little bit here. And once I've done that, I'm just gonna loop back around and make the connection. Right click, select from path, and that's all highlighted now. So then we hit delete, and there goes the uh, residual background that was still on there. Now to get rid of this path, go up here to the little window on the side, and the paths is the third one in. We're just gonna click on that and trash it. Now go to select none. Go back into our layers window. And as you can see, that's all gone. Now there's a little bit here in her hair. You could use the eraser tool to fix that. Again, the same as the brush settings, you could use the brackets on your keyboard to make it bigger or smaller to quicken things up. And I'm just gonna go in here and make a little swipe and over here do the same thing. There we go. Now click on that layer. Let's add a drop shadow. Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. Allow resizing is unchecked, okay. And then let's flatten this. Select all, select border. Paint on your border here. And there you have it. Uh, play around with the quick selection tool. As I said, it's not always the best method, but if you could uh, combine that and the path tool, sometimes it makes your cuts a lot quicker to get through and have fun.